I'm Conway Gittins reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Here's what we're watching on the street today. Investors did some modest buying ahead of an earnings day lose from a number of marquee names. The Dow and the S&P 500 settled at new record highs on Monday. United Airlines, United Health, Johnson & Johnson, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, Charles Schwab and Citigroup are some of the companies due to report on Tuesday. Turning to other headlines, if you're the type of person who has a late night snack attack and you're used to running down to the 7-Eleven, you soon might be out of luck. The popular convenience store chain is shutting 444 locations across North America. 7-Eleven is getting hit on a number of fronts, including falling traffic, slower sales, sticky inflation, and even a drop in cigarette purchases. All are hurting the company's bottom line. Here's something you may not know. Cigarettes used to be the biggest seller at 7-Eleven and other convenience stores. Nicotine sales, however, have plunged 26% from pre-pandemic days. With food now the best-selling category, 7-Eleven is investing in that part of the store, but it has a lot of catching up to do. Recent surveys show that it has fallen behind peers like Wawa and Sheets when it comes to customer satisfaction on food. Foot traffic has fallen for six months in a row through August. 7-Eleven's Japanese parent, Seven and I, said when it comes to middle and low income customers, it has noticed a, quote, more prudent approach to consumption. 7-Eleven has 13,000 locations spread across the U.S., Canada and Mexico. No word yet on which of those will be shutting their doors. That'll do it for your daily briefing from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Conway Gittens with The Street.